Hi, welcome to Project HPC tutorial on image stabilization. Today we're going to be using tracking within Mocha Pro and we're going to use that data in After Effects. So let's head over to Mocha Pro. It's the initial start screen, you just click on the start. Um, new project and import the clip that we need. clip we're going to be working with today is some hunting dogs that were filmed at the zoo for this purpose, for the stabilization purpose. Okay, so what we have here is the main Mocha interface. We're going to be using a very basics today, the X-Pline layer, which is the little pen with the X on it. And we're going to be using that. We'll draw a spline round the information that we want to track, which is the dog. And when I filmed this I was a little bit all over the place because I knew I was going to do this uh, stabilization tutorial so what we're going to do is I'll track the data and then I'll show you in After Effects what's actually happening there. So once we've put a spline around the dog we click on this icon here which is track forwards and we just track the dog through the scene. Okay so that's the footage you've been tracked now as you can see if I scroll back and forward, Mocha's track through the scene was the contrasting footage of the spline area that I've highlighted. Um, so what we want to do now is export that tracking data so we can use it in After Effects. So that's simply click on export tracking data and in the drop down menu what you want to be selecting is transform data with the anchor points position, scale and rotation. Once you've selected that I like copy to clipboard and we're going to head straight over to After Effects. Okay, so what we're going to do is import the same footage that we were working on, create a composition from that footage. Okay, and if, if we scroll forward, we'll see how unstable the, the image is before the tracking data is added to it. Okay, so simply edit and paste. That paste the tracking data from the mocha into the highlighted layer. And if we go into the transform, we can now see all the keyframes that have been put on here. So rotation, scale, position and anchor point. So what we're actually interested in is the anchor point only. So if we turn off the position, the scale and the rotation, and we do a quick render on that and see how that looks. Okay, so what you'll notice now is that the dog remains in the center of the image while the video actually moves around and we get these black lines here to accommodate the tracking. So, to fix this what we have to do is scale the image up and there's not really much, much else we can do to stop that, so if we go back to the beginning and scale the image up to maybe 115 and check out how that looks. Okay, so what we can see here is that we see the box of the actual original image video moving around here to accommodate keeping the dog in the center of it. Um, kind of looks okay so far. Let's wait until it's rendered and have a look. Okay, so now we see the the tracked stable video of the uh, footage that we shot. And that is simply how you stabilize your footage using Mocha for tracking in After Effects. It's been another Project HPC tutorial. Stay tuned.